안녕하세요 여러분 한국어를 가르치는 윤랩이에요 In this lesson, you can learn the difference between 좋다 and 좋아하다 Let's find out the reason why these words get misused so often And then let's check how to talk about things you like or dislike using 좋다 and 싫다 Okay, what do you like? What's your favorite thing to do? Here, I like strawberries. Can you say it in Korean? Yes, 저는 딸기를 좋아해요. Then, how about this? 저는 딸기가 좋아요. Can you tell me the difference between the two sentences? Same thing. Most of native speakers use them interchangeably. There is no difference in meaning. But grammatically, 좋다 is an adjective. Adjectives are used for describing something. So anytime you want to describe something, you should use subject with the particle e and ga. On the other hand, 좋아하다 means to like. It's a verb. The verbs are affecting something. In particular, the transitive verbs need the object with the particle 을 and 를. Emotional adjectives plus 아, 어, 하다 makes verbs. It means if you add the conjugation 아, 어, 하다 to an emotional adjective 좋다, it becomes a verb 좋아하다. Adjectives can be easily converted to verbs. It's a magic. The similar magic is happening in English as well. For example, if you remove IVE from the adjective attractive, you will get the verb to attract. If you understand the word formation principles of languages, you will be able to easily accept this grammar point, a o hada. Let me explain quickly about 좋다. In this sentence, if there is no topic, 저는 딸기가 좋아요 is a bit ambiguous. I mean, without any other context, this sentence could be these strawberries are good, not bad, or I like strawberries. Such confusion is due to the many meanings of 좋다. Such as to be good, fine, nice, okay, suitable, and to love, to like. So, 저는 딸기가 좋아요 literally means for me strawberries are good, but can translate more naturally as I like strawberries. We will look at other examples to practice this pattern. Yoga makes me feel good. I really love yoga. How do you say in Korean? Yes. 저는 요가가 좋아요. 저는 요가를 좋아해요. Look at the pine trees. I love them. I like hiking. In Korean? Yes. 저는 등산이 좋아요. 저는 등산을 좋아해요. I took this picture in early spring. I really love the baby leaves of chinko trees. So I like traveling. In Korean? Yes. 저는 여행이 좋아요. 저는 여행을 좋아해요. Be careful if you mix it up like this. 여행이 좋아해요. It means traveling who became a person already is liking something. It's weird. Grammatically, it will make no sense. Up to now, we looked at like. You can also say what you don't like and dislike after applying the same rule of 좋다 in the exact same way. There are a lot of different usages for dislike. 
But today, let's focus on 안 좋다 means don't like and 싫다 means dislike. Is there a difference? Like English, 싫다 is stronger. So sometimes it sounds rude. 안 좋다 is better for the conversation. And of the two, 안 좋아요 and 안 좋아해요, the letter 안 좋아해요 is more natural. Also, you can use 싫어요 to directly express a strong refusal. For example, 저는 이 노래를 안 좋아해요. I don't like this song. 저는 이 노래가 싫어요. I dislike this song. Let's practice more. Say in Korean, I don't like spiders. Yes? 저는 거미를 안 좋아해요. 저는 거미를 안 좋아해요. How about this? I don't like exercise. 저는 운동을 안 좋아해요. Oh, I dislike studying. 저는 공부가 싫어요. I have a tip for your peaceful social life. You can add 별로 to say not really or not that much. I don't really like a raw fish. 저는 생선회를 별로 안 좋아해요. And to say that you are not keen on something or someone, you can use the expression 관심 없다. 저는 로맨스 영화에 관심이 없어요. I'm not keen on romance movies. And also, you can add 별로. 저는 로맨스 영화에 별로 관심이 없어요. Will be good. Actually, I really love this drama. 별에서 온 그대. 관심 있어요. If you really hate something or someone, you can add 진짜, 정말, 너무 and say 진짜 싫어요, 정말 싫어요, 너무 싫어요. I really hate it. I hate dieting. 저는 다이어트가 정말 싫어요. Ooh, 저는 모기가 너무 싫어요. What about you? Pause the video and write down two sentences using 좋다 and 싫다. You can talk about any other topic you like. After class, post your sentences in the comments. Then I will take a look and will give you some feedback. Thank you for watching. I will see you again in another lesson. 다음 시간에 만나요. 안녕히 계세요.